What's up everyone, this is George from Your Local Musician and I know it's been a while since we've done a on-screen tutorial like this, but trust me, I am getting back to them. I've had it in my plans to get back to them for a long time. I just needed to invest in the software, make a few plans, plan out a few titles here and there, and away you go. So what we're gonna do first is obviously, um, as the title says, this is how to glide your 808s in Logic Pro X. And of course, I can't do this without plugging my sample pack warm 808, so that's what we're gonna use in this tutorial and for this demo. And um, yeah, so basically what I'm gonna do is obviously show you how to glide your 808s in Logic Pro X using its own sampler, EXS24. Now as you can see, obviously from the screen I've already got um, uh, one set up here. So first we're just gonna play the beat so you can obviously hear what you're gonna learn. Okay, so that's it. As you can tell, it's really, really subtle. There's not an awful lot going on. In fact, this is just a demo track that I threw together to obviously just showcase what the sample pack is all about. And when you pick it up from my website, which I will bung a link to down in the description. And obviously this is what you get when you buy the pack. Now in total, there is 512 808s in this pack, I believe. Uh, we've got a chromatic bunch which sound beautiful. Then we've got a bunch more. Then we've got that. Then we've got a bunch more um, which you can go through. And yeah, that's about it, mate. Um, so basically, what we're going to do is obviously let me just play that um, 808 on its own. So you can obviously just hear what it sounds like on its own. So nothing fancy, but it does the glide what we're on about and it sounds pretty good with the rest of the beat. Um, so we're just gonna create that um, instrument from scratch. And so firstly, what you actually wanna make sure of is, is of course this isn't actually gonna work unless you've got your advanced tools turned on. So go over to Logic Pro X, preferences, then down to advanced tools and make sure that all of these options are ticked because if they are not ticked, then you won't get some of the options that I'm about to show to you. So if we just get straight into obviously creating the instrument, and I had machine up here, so I am just gonna change that to a stereo track of EXS24. Now, when you've got those advanced tools um, turned on, you'll notice that you'll get an edit button here. So, to, so obviously to get the 808 sample into the sampler itself, what you're gonna do, go ahead and hit edit, and that's obviously gonna bring up this window here. And now, if you go to the pack itself, let's just make this nice and easy. Let's get the first, um, 808 from the chromatic kit and obviously this is tuned to C3 so I've got to change nothing there and firstly the uh, go away I just want to get there there we are lovely um, firstly what I'm going to do is obviously save the instrument so if I just name this 808 tutorial warm the warm 808s. Now, if I just, now you've saved that, so if you just X out, that should be us nice and good to go. But obviously we've got to make sure that we can actually hear it. So, beautiful George, beautiful, 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 beautiful. But obviously how do we actually make it glide? Now, 
this is actually really really easy in in logic it's ridiculously easy um, now you've got this glide option over here now depending on how high this is so if you have this glide option all the way up to the top your 808 is going to take a long while to glide up to the next note now generally i can't think of any genre of music that has that much glide to it so usually nine times out of ten um the shorter you have it the, the better i like to keep it around 30 ms and over here you want to switch you want to go from poly to over to legato so it so it blends in nicely and um so if we just so if we just tap out some 808s lovely jubbly so if you notice now obviously if i if i go on c and then i hit um and then i hit the other c and then I hit another C two octaves up, so from C three up to C five, obviously. Uh, so from C, there's the glide, right? Um, so that is pretty much how you just create the instrument. And obviously, what we want is a nice um, pattern. Now, if we just hit Command and four, it opens up this. Big piano roll and obviously I'd be a fool to not say but obviously if you want that glide then you've got to go in zoom, zoom in not hugely like that you want to zoom in and obviously make sure there's some overlap so this this note has an opportunity to obviously glide up to this note so as you can tell I've got that there where we just jump one octave but then I've got this other one over here which goes up a little bit higher. Obviously, that's a little bit more dramatic. And obviously, when you when you're creating these 808 patterns, um, to me, it always sounds best if you follow the kick. Now, obviously, this probably isn't the greatest example here, but uh, because I'm using a drum loop, I just wanted to throw this together just for the example. But these big spikes in the audio here are obviously the kicks. So I just want to make sure that my my stuff obviously follows follows that as best it can be. Uh, depending on you know, just just the beat, don't always have to stick to the rules. Uh, the rules are there to be broken. Let's just get rid of that one from earlier and work on this one. Let's actually name it something first. Eight or eight. So make sure when you're when you're writing these patterns that they hit to the kick as precisely as they can be. If you want to break the rules, do it. It's your track. Um, but generally, I find following the kick. Uh, makes it always sound that bit more effective and good as a wholesome sort of piece and so what we're going to do here is let's just stick stick some extra gain on it this is firefly this is an excellent compressor from soundspot i believe if you hear crying in the background that's actually my little puppy she's really quite annoying <laughs> but it's fine she's a baby isn't she so, all right, so if we just play that now. That's pretty much how you do it. And obviously this is a nice and simple beat, so let's just duplicate it out. Obviously, you might want to beef up those 808s more. You know, raise some, raise some highs, raise some lows. Do whatever you want to make it sound a little bit more crazy. <laughs> Please sound like a fool, you know. Um. That is pretty much it guys. It's not too hard. Now I want to do another tutorial on this in in, in later videos, but uh, we're going to do tutorials more. We used to do them an awful lot, then we stopped doing them for a little bit, but I'm I'm really feeling like this is this is the way to go for, for, for me. I like to teach. Some of you guys say um I talk too much in these, um which I'm doing right now, but 
If you don't like it, then watch it. <laughs> but if you do, then hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you're gonna love it. And if you wanna pick up Warm 808, so I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below so you can pick that up, so you can follow this tutorial down to the T. Thank you.